Welcome to App Design Tips. Today, in addition to a new XD update that has everything to do with design system libraries, you can check out my other video that explains more about this, but Adobe also announced two new things to help designers and developers work together to use and scale their design systems better. So let's check this out. So what XD revealed today is an Adobe XD extension for VS Code and also a new format called Design System Packages, or DSP for short. The hope is to serve as a new standard for designers and developers to build functional and connected design systems. This is a big subject and there's a lot to explain and cover how it all works, but before I do, let's check out a little teaser video that can sum it all up and show it better for us. Design systems without developers are not complete design systems. Period. Design systems with developers are awesome. Err, design systems. Introducing Adobe XD for Visual Studio Code. A brand new extension for devs to create, design tokens and compile to multiple platforms. Plus components with documentation and code snippets, visually. For more devs to then consume, contextually, without ever leaving VS Code. Less handoff, more collaboration. So first of all, the team behind DSPs in this new extension was headed by Damian Borba, and that's XD's product manager focused on developer workflows. For the last couple months, he's been working with incredible partners such as Google, Microsoft, Target, HP, as well as other tools like Zero Height, Knapsack, Specify, to validate and invalidate all the steps in this first minimum viable product. This teaser video was mainly about the XD extension for VS Code, but before we go into that, let's first talk about DSP that serves as the foundation for this extension. This is a new open format standard for building design systems in an effort to normalize the way we use design systems. Pretty much all design tools expose design systems in their own way, and it's not very universal across organizations. When a design system is normalized into a format like DSP, it helps companies share their design systems in a way that developers know how to take advantage of. So big companies like Google or IBM can share these DSPs with developers to work seamlessly in code and pull any tokens the way they want to use them. It's similar to how PDF was built to be a standard for people to share pages and content. DSP is a new open format folder structure created to help teams share design system information across tools. From designers to developers, tools that are compatible with this format can exchange design data and stay in sync. Now, DSP is a collaborative effort, and like I mentioned, it's open, so it's not owned by Adobe, although they were a huge player in this initiative. All players and programs can write and read from a DSP if they learn and follow the specs, which is a great segue for talking about the new Adobe XD extension for VS Code. This extension allows you to create and consume DSPs visually with code completion features. If you import from Creative Cloud libraries with colors, character styles, and components, you can create new DSPs in seconds. It's a really great accelerator. So in a nutshell, the way this extension works is designers creating their sticker sheets and design system libraries in XD as they normally would. And after publishing the library, you can share this link inside VS Code to get a head start in your design system package. This creates all the tokens for your colors, character styles, and components. When it comes down to components shared in VS Code, it's a little bit more manual of a creation. The extension will build the skeleton for our DSP, but the developer will still have to create a code snippet that generates the token. There's not really any magic for converting the XD design into coded components because each organization implements components a little bit differently. With all these components, you can add your own documentation, including images, GIFs, and other types of media, including iframes with actual coded components or an XD embedded prototype. When a designer makes a change to the CC library and updates the link, developers can update their DSP with a design change and any new tokens or components created will be added to the DSP in VS Code. Whew. So let's stop here for a bit and allow all this to sink in. Now, as I explain this, my goal isn't to walk you through exactly how this works, but to explain the benefits and reasoning behind a DSP and the new integration. 
If I do my job correctly, you'll want to visit letsxd.com slash VS code. And this is where you can get guided help on getting started with design tokens. How to consume a design system package in VS code, whether it's coming from XD or just a package manually. And also how you can import your assets from CC libraries to begin your own DSP. If you want to play around with some existing DSPs before building your own, this page has a few publicly available DSPs that you can take advantage of to quickly bring in assets from Adobe Spectrum, Bootstrap, Material Design, just to name a few. You can also use over a thousand icons using the Streamline Icons design system package. This XD integration in VS Code means you no longer have to reference tokens in a spreadsheet. There's a lot of room for human error when this happens. You have to go into a table like this for reference and then come back into the editor and manually add this token. Within this extension, you can also compile these tokens not only in CSS, but in many more options for platform-specific code, like Flutter, Android, and more. This will serve as a massive head start into building out a functional design system, and now developers can stay in VS Code longer, pulling all tokens directly into the code editor. You even get a little preview box with a description and a link to more documentation if you want to learn more from there. It's super intuitive. Again, if you've reached the point of major excitement and just want to dive in and get your hands dirty implementing these new features, go to letsxd.com slash VS Code. Now, it's important to note as you use this, this version is 1.0, so both the DSPs and the XD extension. This means it can only get better from here, and the XD team is relying heavily on your input to make this a new standard, and the extension the best it can be. The more the team learns from your input, the better this new standard will become. If you have any questions at all about how this works, drop a comment below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, again, be sure to check out my other latest video on the update for XD itself, talking about the new design system features and how to make the most of this in your company. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscription button and ring that bell to be notified of future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.